Hello, today we're going to be taking a quick look at the compress slash uncompress feature in Easy Builder Pro. When building a project, the developer will have the ability to create or import several different types of libraries such as picture libraries, macro libraries, sound libraries, and more. These libraries are saved in the Easy Builder Pro installation directory. And when an existing project is open on your PC, these libraries will be pulled from this directory. This helps reduce the project's size. This means that when sending someone the EMTP or CMTP project file, they will not be able to use any of the libraries that have been created for the project. In order to store all of the libraries within the project file, we can use the compress slash uncompress feature. First, however, we will save the project to ensure that the compressed version will be up to date with the work that's been done on it so far. Then, to find the Compress slash Uncompress option, I'll select File, and then click Compress slash Uncompress. To compress your project along with any custom libraries, you'll have to make sure the source name in the Compress section is referencing the project file you are currently working on. Then you can choose the file destination of where you want the compressed file to be saved. Notice that the file extension for the destination file will differ from the source file. CMT and non-CMT HMIs will have different file extensions, as seen here. Once the source and destination have been configured, you can press the Compress button and the file will be saved. To uncompress a project, you can go to the Uncompress section of the menu and select the Compressed file as the source. and then you can choose the destination of the uncompressed project file. It's important to note that the uncompressed process is how the libraries will be installed into the Easy Builder Pro installation directory. Therefore, if the project file is being sent to someone else, the sender will compress and send the file, and the receiver will uncompress the file. This is how we can make sure that our custom libraries are sent over along with the project. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our channel, where we have more hardware and software tutorials. You can also visit our website at wintechusa.com to get the latest software downloads, view our official documentation, and more. Thanks for watching.